live there now. And Ashley, we know what we're most excited about, but what about the fairgoers? <laughs> That's right, Brian and Karen. Of course, we would all hang out here at the Two Works For You booth, but there's so much more to see and to do here. And I talked to some Tulsa State Fair veterans about it all. There's no doubt this year's Tulsa State Fair is a family affair. This is my nephew and, um, and this is my aunt. <laughs> yes. But it's the smallest of Tulsans wandering through the bright lights and big rides that have the greatest number of visits under their belts. Once five or six years. Hundreds. Xander coming for one thing and one thing only. Because I love the rides. Dragging his aunt along. We get roped into it. Suffer. <laughs> but she hops in the ride cars, rounding those colorful corners in the name of tradition. As you get older, you want to see your kids, your nieces and nephews do the same things you did. These brothers doing it for sport. So I went on the mega drop. And I mean, it's scary, but it's fun. And if you think you ride rides a lot. Ten or eleven each day. At least. Think again. It's just a thrill of it going so fast, Lauren, and then it going so fast back up. Jerry Arp and his sister haven't missed an opening night in probably 40 years. And his intentions are simple. The dog she stays on the farm all the time, and <laughs> so I get her out, out to see the city lights once in a while. So take it from the people who know this year's fair is nothing short of awesome. And of course, you all can't forget to stop by the Two Works For You booth, take a spin in our voice chair as well. And of course, our whole Two Works For You family will be here throughout the weekend. So make sure you stop by and say hello. Live from the fairgrounds, Ashley Holt, Two Works For You. Absolutely. Thanks, Ashley.